I look a mess right now, but I'm currently reading this when a Scott ties when a when a Scott when a Scotch ties the knot. Okay, I'm currently reading this, and I actually am really enjoying it a lot. Like the plot is very different from what the background says. So basically, the book is about this girl, and her name is Maddie. And when she was 16, she wrote a letter to this guy because her family is kind of pressuring her to find love and so she wrote a letter to like this random guy and then years she like continues to write letters to him and then not a random guy but like a made up guy and then years later she ends up finding out he's real so now he's like marrying her for proposition and I don't know it really is it's really really good and there's like some angsty scenes because they hate each other and I don't know it's really interesting and it's a lot better than what I thought it would be this is an audiobook he has a Scottish accent and it's really really cute. This already might be a five star read and I'm only like five chapters into the book. This is only eight hours long so it shouldn't take me this long to read it. Okay so I have to hurry and do this. I have to find a good lighting first. I have to do this before my mom comes looking for me because it's the 4th of July and we're lighting sparklers. But I was listening to When a Scott Ties the Night and it's actually really really good. Like I'm kind of worried though because it starts off with like hitting to the point like it gets to the point when it starts off and it's getting really really good because they both like hate each other and they like are married and are living together and i really really like that there was this i was at work and i was like sneaking airpods in because i was like the only one there like in my section that i work in and the smut scene came on and i literally was like walk like folding clothes like you know like i was so thrown off because as soon as i started the audiobook the smut came on but it's good so i'm very excited to finish this hopefully can finish it tonight but yeah i'll keep you guys updated obviously also i want to show you guys my outfit like it's so boring but it's like it's so cute So I have like 12 minutes left of my audiobook and I'm actually really enjoying it. Obviously, I think I want to give it like a 4.5 out of 5 stars. There's so much I actually like about this. Like it's just so different from like regular romance, like especially the smut. Like they go into like way more detail in a way with the smut. And then the rope, but the only reason why I don't want to give it full 5 stars is because he just seems like a bit corny to me like it seems like a little bit unrealistic like how he's in love with her but also it could just be me being um I don't want to say cynical but it could just be me being like upset because I'm single so I'm like no man acts like this because a guy hasn't acted like that to me so I can't really say that it's unrealistic just because no guy like acts like that towards me but I am really really enjoying this like I don't think I can read a non-Scott scottish romance after this and it's so like it was so weird reading it because he calls her this word i can't pronounce it but it starts with the m and it always sounds like he's saying marie because like i'm listening to the audiobook so whenever i listen to it i was like who the heck is marie like did this character come but i don't know but no it's it's just like a nickname he has for her which is actually really really cute and her as a character actually she's like okay as a character and he's like okay as a guy it's like it's not like i'm like in love with him or anything and he's like there's like some jealousy scenes in there that i really really like and then there's so much angst like there's so much angst because it's like a huge will they won't they which i also really enjoy and i just like how the story starts off as soon as you start and then the more the only my only biggest worry was like i would get bored because i get bored really easily but i actually wasn't bored with this story because it has so much angst and like it would do so much build up and then if something would happen and it would stop and so i really really like that and it's not as good so i mean i'll probably give it 4.5 out of 5 stars i don't know if i'll update it after this because you know i already can tell where it's gonna go like i'm literally only have one more chapter left and i i'm almost on the epilogue so they're probably gonna like get married and have a baby or like something like that you know like the epilogue can't be that amazing so Okay, so I have now finished the book. Um, I finished it last night and I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. The ending was literally just exactly how I expected. So basically that's the only reason. Because the ending was like very predictable. And 
I mean, it ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm just tired of like the whole like they were already married. But I'm tired of the whole like oh having a baby to be like the end all. Like you know that's the end of all happiness for all books. I don't read historical romance. And the more I think about it, it will make sense for having a baby and getting married to be like the end for historical romances. But still, I, no matter what genre it is, I'm tired of reading it. But it still was a really good book and I highly recommend it. I also bought, I figured out that this was a series. So I already have the first book in the series and I bought the second book. So I'll be reading those. I have my bonnet on. It's late. It's like 12 a.m. But I've been reading Lord of Scoundrels. So this is basically about this guy who like is the it guy. Like everyone wants to be with him like all the girls want to be with him all the guys want to be him and like he's just that dude and then it's about this girl and like she she's the it girl like everybody wants to be with her and she just really she really doesn't really have time for guys basically not that she doesn't have time but she doesn't be playing games with guys because she knows and so they end up like having to be together because of her brother not be together like together but like they have to like be around each other because of her brother and I'm low-key kind of bored like I don't know I like him like the main guy his name is Sebastian low-key they never call him Sebastian though they just call him Dane because he like Laura Dane but he's very I don't know he has that personality about him and he's like interesting I guess well he's an interesting character she's just like meh to me but there's this scene where he kind of like low-key sexually assaults her and like I know that they kind of play games with each other like like they flirt with each other a lot but he definitely kissed her without her consent and like she ends up kissing him back but that just ain't sitting right with me love I'm only 95 pages in and I'm bored like I think because of the last book I read the Tessa Dare book the plot starts off in the beginning Whereas with this one, it doesn't, and it's like, it's just, I don't know. I want to enjoy this. The cover is so beautiful. I really love this cover. Like, it looks like it was, like, painted, but hopefully it gets better. I'm listening to the audiobook while the hotties do reading sprints, so hopefully I can finish today, and then I can start my last book and have this video uploaded by next week, but this was hell. Hopefully it gets better, though. I'm only 95 pages in. This book is about 300 pages and yeah i'm already like loving historical romance though i've already like have some more historical romances in my cart i haven't read a pirate book yet but i feel like pirate book and like scottish ones will be my favorites um i wish there were more like black historical romances but i know that that era mostly had to do with slavery so i know beverly jenkins right um black love like historical romances but that's the only one i can think of right now like in the i have a i ordered a Alyssa cole book but like when i looked up black historical romance authors not a lot of people popped up so i feel like that says a lot but it's whatever i think the historical romance is historical romance will be my favorite genre and i low-key have a lot of historical romances to last me for a while and i feel like these are really quicker to read but i'm listening to the audiobook just because this month is like an audiobook month but I feel like if I read them physically, this will be even quicker because I am I read faster than I listen to audiobooks. But I really want to make sure that I'm grasping when I'm reading these days. So I've been listening to audiobooks as I read along. So I had like a huge like historical romance haul for you guys. But my Amazon decided they want to deliver all my packages tomorrow. So I'm going to have a lot of packages tomorrow. But I did get two books today because they were supposed to come yesterday. I don't know what it is with my Amazon and why they hate me this week. But... I'm sorry for whatever I did but I got two books I got Pirate Prince by I don't know and then I got The Ugly Duchess which this one um I think her name is Eloisa James she has like a whole like fairy tale retelling series so I got some other books in her series she has a Rapunzel one which obviously I bought Rapunzel was my favorite princess along with the Little Mermaid but I don't think anybody's writing a Little Mermaid retelling it could you could you could probably make a historical little mermaid retelling you you probably could but yeah this one i'm guessing is about the ugly duckling but like the duchess and this seems like it's gonna be so good like i'm really excited and then this one the pirate prince i just bought it because i want to read more pirate romance i don't know why i said more as if i've never read one so far but maybe i'll read this one instead of this one Whatever have whatever has the least pages out of the two I'm gonna read. So it says 407. 
And the guy on the back is hot. And then this has 78. So I guess I'll be reading this one. But none of these have step backs. I'm just learning what step backs are. <gasps> Today is Saturday. I could participate in step back set. No, today's Friday. But I could participate in step back Saturday tomorrow if I really wanted to. That would be fun. It would be my first step back Saturday on Bookstagram. So I don't know if any of you guys know what that is. Not like it's like some like unknown thing, but. If you don't know what it is, I'm saying it's like I just I just know all the historical romance tea. Like I just know everything about historical romance. But if you don't know what Step Back Saturday is, it's basically where you post your step backs on your bookstagram, and they're always really really pretty, and I love them. So yeah, I'm going to start this. It's also the start of Becca's Bookopoly, and. I don't know what I want to do if I want to read this, if I want to do the Bookopoly. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously I want to do the Bookopoly, but none of the prompts really fit this book. And the book that won the poll isn't on here. So I think I want to read this for a few hours and then jump into my poll book. We have 12 hours, so I think I can do it. We have 12 hours to read the first book. So, um, yeah. I'll let you guys know. I feel about this the more I get into it. Please ignore the clothes on the chair in the background. I'm going to be giving you guys a haul. I did a haul on my Instagram story and I want to give this haul for the vlog just in case. You guys should definitely follow me on Instagram though. None of these have step backs. Also question what are fake step backs? I was watching Samantha, I believe her channel is Samantha Reading and she was like oh I got fake st step backs and I'm like what the fuck is that? But I got me some Tessa Dare. I don't know why I'm like in love with Tessa Dare, even though I've only read one of her books. But I got any Duchess will do because I want to read more about Duchess because I feel like I will be a Duchess. I feel like I am a Duchess. I got a Lady by Midnight. I feel like a fake step back would be this thing right here. Because like usually when you see that, you know it's a step back. So maybe that's what a fake step back is. I got some a louisa james once upon a tower this is a rapunzel retelling and i'm really excited because i wanted to read more like retellings but in historical romance hopefully the guy in here is like writer flynn or else i'm going to give this book two stars because writer flynn, writer flynn is the love of my life and it's one of the one of the reasons why rapunzel is like my favorite princess obviously because i relate to her as well as writer flynn like i am looking for my writer flynn got some loretta chase now the book that i read earlier i didn't really like but i really love loretta chase covers because they always look painted they look like a very expensive beautiful painting so i got not quite a lady because i can relate to that because i also am not quite a lady like i have the chief or the chef I'm pretty sure this is the chief um i don't know why i got this i think it's because it's a highland guard but it has something to do with a highlander so i got some loretta heath the last wicked scoundrel i think this is a novella but it's really really small so i felt like i could finish this in like one sitting hell i might read this for my vlog bro this is only like 130 pages i might finish this for my vlog a Pirate's Love. I got me some more Joanna Lindsay. I have another Joanna Lindsay. I really want to get the old Joanna Lindsay covers, but I know they're hard to find. But I really want some old ones. I think I can find some on eBay. I got the Pirate Lord because I want more pirates. I got some more Lorraine Heath. So I got Midnight Pleasures with the Scoundrel and then In Bed with the Devil. I got this because the devil was in the title and hopefully it's what I think it is. Or maybe it's just like exaggeration, but oh back of this is pretty well this is really pretty and i also got this i don't know what this is this is sage greek sage creek i don't know if this is a historical romance but it was sent to me i did not buy this i didn't order this but i can't tell if this is historical romance or not so yeah that's it for this haul it got really dark um okay so i am on zoom with the hotties and we're doing sprints and I am 34 pages into Scandalous Desires and I'm actually really liking it. I actually didn't want to pick this up at first. I don't know why because I was like I really want to read Pirate Romance but I really wanted to read the other romances that I just got but 
I'm actually really liking this even though it's 34 pages like they really jump into it which I think I like that like I think that might be I don't know if a lot of other historical romances are like that but I really like that they just jump into it and they already start off with the plot and it's like no waiting or like no like build up or anything like that basically this book is about this girl named silence which confused me at first because they were like silence said and i was like who so there's this girl named silence and she takes care of this baby and she ends up find out that the baby belongs to this pirate and he wants the baby back but she's so attached to the baby that she doesn't want to give the baby back and so she somehow ends up sleeping with him for a night not really she was just in his bed he fed her and then he made her like walk out looking like they did something together even though they didn't and her husband ends up finding out and yeah i'm just finding out where it goes from there but i'm like wow okay just they do not plan about scandalous okay this really is scandalous one thing about this book that really throws me off is that i know they're pirates but they keep saying like ye like ye like like you know how in harry potter the guys like you're a wizard harry like you know the way that they talk it's like he reminds me of mr krabs and like i can't i know he's a pirate but i can't stop thinking of mr krabs when i read this book and even she talks about that sometimes but he has such a like heavy pirate um accent that like when i listen to him talk it literally sounds like i'm listening to mr krabs from spongebob and i can't but i'm actually really enjoying this book and i'm only like 30 pages into it like i haven't even gotten to like the actual plot yet but once again my biggest worry is that i'm gonna lose interest and i'm actually physically reading this like no audiobook this time i usually don't like showing my book bed in the videos but today i do not care okay um so basically i'm about 50 percent through the book and i'm enjoying it but at the same time i'm like on the fence like i really like the pirate aspects like like they i thought they were living on a ship but they don't for this book and so i was like when do the pirate aspects come in and it does have pirate aspects to it and the guy and the girl they have like this hate to love relationship and i'm still confused as to what happened to her husband because the husband the book says that she's widowed but like the synopsis but in the book she her husband is so ashamed of her after the guy like made it seem like they slept together so they like get divorced and she, that's why she comes to live with the guy to help take care of the baby and also the guy like absolutely hates the baby not absolutely but like the baby was like crying and she walks in and like she go and he goes like the baby doesn't like me and i don't like the baby either so what but Lenore, like I really like historical romances because I love the romance and they aren't afraid to go there with the book like with the certain scenes like with um like there's a scene where she literally walks in on him like pleasing himself which you would never read in a regular romance and it's just like historical romances go there plus they have the angst like they have the angst of them hating each other there was a sexual assault scene but I think I'm starting to learn that like this is just something that happens in historical romance and I understand that like back then they didn't have those like it wasn't the same thing where like he liked her and he wanted her and he felt like she wanted him but like she's like they're the, in the scene it says she like he's in the bathtub and they're talking they have a heated argument and he puts he pulls her hand like this and he places it in the water to touch him his male parts and she's like violently pulling away it says that and like i know that like that's something that happens a lot in historical romances but my morals you know i my morals just won't let me like get over that like i understand it i accept it like it's something that happens in historical romance but my morals here are just like mm, you know maybe it's something i'll learn to not get over because i can't, my morals won't allow me to do that but it's maybe it's something i'll learn to be like this is what happens in historical romance like but I won't let that take away my star rating. Whereas right now, it's probably gonna take it's taking away a star rating for me. Like, I'm sorry, but but I'm really liking it. I really want to be done though. But hopefully, I finish soon so I can get this vlog up and read some more of my historical romances because I ordered a bunch of Joanna Lindsay like old covers. I ordered some Amanda Quake. I got like ravished by her, and I got like joanna Lindsay's like old covers i really want like step backs because i'm like obsessed with them now and it's crazy how like at the beginning of this vlog i knew nothing but now i'm like slowly starting to learning 
And that's what I kind of like about this vlog because I'm slowly like learning things about historical romance and like the historical romance genre. But if you really, if you, first of all, if you stayed this far and you love historical romance, please leave down below um, historical romance terms because those I am really struggling, not struggling with, but like basically like I don't know what an Earl is, I don't know what a Duke is, I know what a Highlander is um but there's like a bunch of terms i mean i know what it, no i don't know what a duke is i'm not gonna lie to you guys um so if you guys could explain that to me that would be highly appreciated it should not be taking me this long to read historical ones like they're so small and i, I have so many to get through now and i low-key need a new shelf for my historical rom like for my historical romances because the ones i have are already taking up enough and taking up enough space i finally finished scandalous desires and i think i want to give it 3.5 stars i was going to give it 4.5 but i didn't really like the last like i think it was like chapter night chapter like 18 to like the last chapter like uh, i just feel like the story dragged on too long i just feel like the story dragged on for too long but the smut guys the smut and historical romance don't play. Um, so, upon thought, I think I'm going to give One of Scott's Has a Knot five stars. And then I'm going to give the second book three stars and this one 3.5. Because I liked it more than the last book, but I didn't like it as much as One of Scott's Has a Knot. And, like, I do like me some pirate romances. Like I, So, I'm glad I got a lot of pirate romances to read because I do like that. Like, that was good. So, yeah, that's the end for this, end for this vlog. You guys basically watched me turn into a historical romance novel stand, so that was fun. Maybe I'll do a vlog of me reading Outlander for the first time if you guys want to see that, because I really enjoy it. And I think I might really, really like Scottish romances, because I think the fact that like one of Scott's ties and not was Scottish is like why I enjoyed it so much. But, yeah, stay tuned for my wrap-ups to see how many I read, my hauls to see how many I buy, because I know my haul for this month i'm gonna have a lot of historical romances so if you actually do care about historical romances and you want to see more of me let me know i don't mind and i'll see you guys in my next video